All right, hello again. Today we're looking at binary search algorithm. Uh, in a binary search algorithm, what we'll be doing is we're looking for a position target value within a sorted array. Uh, so we'll just be doing some basic comparisons. And in this algorithm, right, you can see here in this visualization, uh, we start out at the midpoint. If the value is happens to be less than the target value, then we shift to the midpoint between here and here. It's greater than, we would shift over here, et cetera, et cetera, until we find the value that we're looking for. So it's a pretty common algorithm, um, not too difficult to implement once you understand it. Um, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to implement it using the straightforward loop uh, implementation, and then we'll follow up with a variation that uh, we'll use the match. Uh, match constructs within Rust, uh, as well as some generics that might be a little bit more interesting. So uh, right now we're operating on an, an, an array. So I'm going to start out by saying if the array happens to be zero, return none. Um, here we can do it this way. And then we need a left index and a right index. Right. And then what we're going to say is while L, actually this should be that. So let I, L plus R, find our midpoint. Right. And then if i equals our target key, then at this point we'll just return the index. Otherwise, if if that happens to be less than the target key, we're gonna shift our left index to mid plus one. So if, that happens, if the key happens to be greater than our item in the array, then we'll do that. Otherwise, in our last condition, we're going to want to shift the right to the midpoint. So we have that. And then finally, we'll return none here. Right. Oops. Right. Okay. I'm gonna do a cargo watch here. Quiet, clear. Watch source. Execute. Test. Include. Ignored. All right. So that passes. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and redo this variation um, using kind of clean up this without loops and everything. So uh, I'm just going to get rid of all of oh, So we still need our left and our right. So we're still going to do that. We're still going to use our loop and we're still going to return none, nothing happens. Now we still need our midpoint. Now instead of doing these conditions here, we can uh, specify a match. So what I'm going to say is match mid, and then we're going to use this operation called CMP. Now CMP is a compare so let's go ahead and take a look at that. Ordering, right? So within Rust, you have this trait called standard CMP ord. And uh, what it's going to do is it's for types that have a total order, which means that it can be uh, the conditions have you can have exactly one that's a less than b, a equals b, or a equals a greater than b is true. 
it's transitive uh, same must be hold so that's all of that uh, and of course numbers have uh, that comparison so we can go ahead and just start doing that here see it's expecting a another integer so we're going to compare against our key and now that we have our match so remember so ordering make sure we import that so if they're equal do the same thing right now if they're less l now equals mid plus one greater mid right now we can get rid of our expression here go ahead and save and test still pass now we can actually improve on this implementation by passing uh, generic arguments and the only thing that we have to do here is t but remember we still need some kind of ordering so we're going to do standard compare order with that trait so where t equals order right this is an array this is the key and this should still work as expected okay great uh, we're gonna make another change here so the only thing that this isn't going to work for is in cases where you have uh, let's say this is needed to be a vector um, so an explicit array may not work for this case um, so you can see that here vector would not work um, so we're going to want to change that and right we also have this condition where let's say it's an array but it's not by reference um, so let's go ahead and change that to show you another trait called as ref right this is standard convert as ref now this is the way to use it says used to do a cheap reference to reference conversion this trait is similar to as mute uh, which is nothing so uh, what as ref is going to do is it'll convert so this example right creating, creating a generic function takes as ref str which doesn't include that and character for reference we express that we want to accept all references that can be converted to and the and str as an argument so string implements as ref str so you can pass it in as that or you can pass it as a as an actual string and then it can accept both so we're going to convert it to as ref which will give us the uh, t so let's go ahead and do that we're going to say v as ref and then we we just want an array of t right so now that we have that let's get our original array and then we're going to do this um, when you use this let operation here it's uh, a way to um, it's a way to to kind of uh, override a previously declared variable so uh, we can say let array equals array dot as ref right now you notice we have a reference t array like we did before and this still works great now we're going to do one more thing which is uh, you'll notice in the ord trait they have an example here um, where we can implement our own ordering so kind of the great thing about uh, these traits here is if you have a use the trait called or use the derive here um, it can automatically sort of derive these ordering so let's say you have a struct in this case like person uh, the ordering will be implied by uh, first by ID, then by name, then by height. Uh, so you can kind of see that is if I were to implement struct 
person. Name string I do 32. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to derive debug. We're going to derive all those same things. So partial equal, EQ, partial order, and ord. Right? I'm going to create a test. And we'll do the same thing we did here because we're already doing ignore. Works for people. Structs. Right? So we're gonna create a mutable vector. So remember now we support vectors. And vec person new people that push. People that push person i equals nine name. We're just gonna create a couple of those. Right. So this one will be seven or six. Right. Now this will have the same. We would expect Albert to be first. And finally there. Right. Right. Sort. It's got to pre-sort it, and I'm just going to print out people so you can see that. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to say find an array, it should be people, and I am expecting, what am I expecting? Uh, the index, right? So let's say what would I be expecting? Comparison equal ID ten right. Okay. Do a quick assert, right? Right, so I'm sorry, that's incorrect because we're finding the We're doing the fine operation. Don't need the sum there. Here we want it at index three. Right. Okay. And oh, you know what? Forgot to save. Right. That's gonna go. And you'll see that that also passed. Works for people strokes. Um, maybe we want to change that to, let's say, Albert, which we were saying we were expecting that to be at index two, right? Or index one, technically. So I'm going to do one. Right. And there we go. All right. Well, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one.